The bonnet lock on my Ford Focus is broken. These are the parts taken out. In this video, I'm going to show you how to join this part, which is the bonnet catch, to this part, which is the, called the Bowden cable. And then I'm going to show you how to rebuild the lock cylinder on your new Bowden cable, if that's what you need to do. Firstly, this little white bit, this white cross, is what connects the two together. And because there's a tamper-proof device, it's a little bit awkward putting it together again. This just needs to be pulled firmly to get it out of here, like so. This has got sloping points here, so it's a push fit into the catch, but it doesn't push into the end of the bowling cable. Instead, what has to happen is that this has to be gently eased into here with a screwdriver. Like so. Once it's in there, then it's a push fit into here. Like so, just pushes together. When it's taken apart again, by just pulling firmly, the white bit always stays on that side. So that's a little bit awkward to get together. You have to remove the white cross from here and put it into the bowling cable first before you reassemble it. Some people have found that it's just this white cross that's broken and I was able to buy a new one of them from my Ford's part dealer for two or three pounds. But in my case, it's not just the white cross. The actual bowling cable is what's damaged. When I turn the key in this end, um, the cross here does turn but not with sufficient force or sufficient distance to actually open the bonnet. Um, I was able to get the bonnet open without damaging my grill happily by just wiggling it, pushing the bonnet down and then turning it to the left and then to the right and I managed to get it open so I don't have to damage anything. Now this is my new Bowden cable and the new parts that come with it. You don't have to rebuild the cylinder if your old cylinder works. You can just remove this punch, this um, pin from here and here, and there's one pin there and another pin there, um, and you reuse the old cylinder if that works fine. But for anyone that wants to, I'm going to rebuild the old cylinder. Now, all these parts I've got little numbers on, and you have to start off by getting them all lined up. There's four from each of each number and they're numbered from 1 to 5 and 11 to 15. And we need them all in order because that's going to help us a lot later. There we are. Okay, all of these. So, put that to one side. These are the parts which we're going to be using in a moment. We've got, this is the part that those kind of teeth things fit into. And you need a spring for each one. Now I think there's meant to be 10 springs, but I've only got eight in my pack. So I'm only going to have eight levers in my newly built cylinder. I'm going to start off with this part. This part's got all these slots. And you see that for four on this side, they've got little circular bits. And for six on that side, they've got little circular bits. I, I've, I'm going to skip this one and that one because I don't have enough springs. So to start with, I'm going to grab a spring. Oh, fuck. Lost it. Don't lose your springs, they're little tiny parts here. Um, I'm going to pop a spring into that one. Let's start with that one. Like so, one spring in there, and I'm going to pick one of these pretty much at random. I'll use number one to start with, and that fits into this slot like so, so that this little lever there pushes against the spring. Okay, and I'm going to see if my key fits in at all. Good, it doesn't fit in doesn't go in, I've pushed that down so it's flush, tried to put the key in and it's not worked at all. So I'm going to change this number one 
for number 11. Um, all these ones, 1 to 5, um, need to alternate with these ones, 11 to 15. So I'll try and 11 is the right one for that slot. Um, again, I'm going to put that in like so. Pinch it. See if the key fits. Good. The key, key does go in, but it's not perfectly aligned. It's just a little bit off. So maybe it's not an 11, maybe it's a 12. So I'm going to swap that one over. For a 12, like so. I'm going to put my key in. Good. And now it's perfectly aligned. So that was correct. I'm going to hold that one in and get another spring. Put the spring in that hole. Okay. That's number 11. So this slot next to it. This slot's number 11, so this slot next to it is going to need 1 to 15. So I'm going to try the number 1. Okay. So this little lever on the side is going to go into that slot, and the little lever on the side is going to push down on the spring. There we are. Okay. Now I'm going to push them down, put my key in. Good. Now, key goes in, which means it's the right number between one and five, but it's sticking out quite a lot there, so it's not one. Let's try a number five. I think it's probably four or five. Okay, so that's going to go into that slot, like so. Hold them closed, key in. Ah. That's almost perfect, but just sticking out a little bit on the other side. It's not a five, it must have been a four. Okay, so let's take that one out. Okay. I'm going to swap that five for a four. Okay. That goes in, and they're both perfectly flush on each side. Good. Now I'm going to hold them in, and I'm just going to carry on in that vein for as long as it takes. Another spring. I'm going to try number one. Sticks out a little bit. I think that probably needs a three. Yeah, perfect. Another spring. I'm a Try a number. This is next to it, so that's number 11. I'll try an 11. Oh, it's taking out lots. So let's try a 15. Yep, that's flush. Okay. Now I'm going to try to do these four. Just going to hold those ones in the other side. Like so. Let's bring in there. Let's try a number 11. That's not going in at all, so it must not be 11 to 15 in there, it must be a 1 to 5. Try number 1. Okay, yeah, that's lucky. It's gone in perfectly, fine. Next one. Let's 
spring. I'm going to guess the number two in here. Oh, bother. Right, yeah, no, it's not number two, is it? Because it's next to the number one, so it must be an 11 to 12. We try 12. <coughs> Okay, good. It's gone in perfectly smoothly. So that was a 12. Let's try a number one in here. Oh, it's sticking out. It's sticking out a lot there. So I'm going to change that for a... I'm going to try number five. Yep, that's flush. And this is the last lever. Okay, try an 11 in here. I'm sticking out a lot at the top there. Sticking out a lot. So I'm going to try a number 15. Good. All right, so there we go. They're all flush on both sides with the key and all the way. Now, what we need next is are these parts. I'll just get them over. And we'll need that in a minute. And we'll need these two bits in a minute. Okay. So. Uh, we're going to use this bit next. Now this goes in there like so and it can turn and if it's but only only so far and if it's in the middle then the key will come out and it and it won't turn but when you put the key in then it will turn. Good that's working correctly. Now I need to take the key out but be careful not to let them come apart and this goes into here. Put it there for a second. Now there is a little bit here, round bit, that goes into this little groove along here. So that bit goes in there like that. Good. Okay. And now this part goes on there like that. I'll just check that this all turns like it should. Yes, that turns when the key's out. Yes, they are. That turns when the key's out, it stops turning. Good. And now, There's a little bit here which corresponds with this little part here. So I'm going to align, align them. And that goes on top like so. Good. Now, I haven't tried this bit yet, but I think this is just a press fit onto there. So I'm going to give it a tap with a hammer. Has that worked? Well, bugger me, it has worked. I think. Okay. So that turns with the key, but without the key, it doesn't turn. By the way, this hole here it goes vertically down when it's fitted in the car, and this big 
extra pointy white bit there goes down when it's in the car. Now, these two bits fit into the side here. like that. One like that. And they stop this bit coming out. And then this spring goes over here, I believe, like that. Okay. And that fits into here. I put that point you right a bit down and this hole here down then I suspect that will fit into there and then maybe I need to turn the other end a bit to get it to align yes there we go. Ah, okay. So there's a bit in there. There's a, one of those four bits on that cross has got a little bit taken out of it, which must correspond with this part. Here's a little additional fifth notch. So you have to line them up. Um, let me see. Let's do it with the bottom towards me. That's bottom, there, that's, that square bit's on the bottom there. aligned to that extra notch. There we are. I think that's correct. Try again. There we go, all fitting together. Let me just check that this goes in there. Yep, turns both ways. And when we turn the key, that bit turns. Yes, good. Now, I'm sufficiently confident this is correct, then I'm going to go ahead and put the pins in. So, I've got these three little pins here. Is it my darling? Well, if you want, you can watch telly for a little bit longer. Oh, okay.
good. I'm going to call that. I'm going to call that done. So that's how you rebuild the lock cylinder for this Ford Focus. If you have any questions, you can ask them below. Maybe I'll get around to answering them sometime. Hope that helps somebody. All the best. Bye.